so welcome all good morning and thank you for joining me yeah <clears throat> so today uh, we are going to talk about omni channel user experience what is omni channel user experience so uh, while we interact with a brand or organization or a company so there are different channels the through which we interact with uh, a brand or a company so uh, those channels can be social media those channels can be uh, website applications mobile applications print media advertisements so these basically these are different channels or touch points through which a brand interacts with their customers or potential customers so what is meant by omni channel is omni channel approach is a approach where uh, user can seamlessly switch between these channels like a user can seamlessly switch between an email to a website or a brick and mortar store to a website e-commerce website while uh, doing an activity like let's say while buying a product or while experiencing a service so this is uh, uh, all about omni channel and basically what happens is a customer is put at the center in this approach and everything is designed around it so that the customer doesn't face any difficulty while switching from one channel to another channel while uh, performing any activity so uh, the past scenario versus present scenario so what initially used to happen uh, was like if we want to experience a product buy a product so we used to go to a brick and mortar store like initially there were only brick and mortar store available and we also had print media available like we used to see the advertisement of certain products like cars or maybe garments or shoes through uh, newspapers only or email was an option but now the things are uh, a lot more evolved like there are a lot of new channels that have evolved like uh, through the era of uh, internet like email marketing is there social media is there now the majority of the brands uh, like uh, like 100% of the brands promote themselves on social media like instagram and facebook and google uh, and then you also you uh, see kiosk at their brick and mortar store where you can explore the details about the product so a lot has changed from like past times and uh, in this uh, what happens uh, what ha what is happening in current scenario is like people are easily information is easily about everything and the competition is all about attention like every company every brand is trying to grab their customers attention so here experience matters a lot so the best uh, experience the best the brand which has best, best experience will take away more customers so the brands are always competing for uh, attention now there is one term also called multi channel and we are talking about omni channel so there is a difference between these, these two so the, the the first difference is synchronization so what basically synchronization means is there can be different uh, channels in an uh, organization or in a company like website social media and mobile applications but they all operate in multi channel they all operate independently like uh, a certain task there is a certain context of use for website there is a certain context of use for social media handles that they have there is a certain use for mobile and they are not interconnected so in omni channel what happens is every channel that a brand has or a company has they are all interconnected so that user or the customer can seamlessly switch between these channels and go back and forth to whatever uh, to fulfill whatever needs they the, they have and the other difference is platform and devices like so what happens in in multi channel is the uh, ch like every channel has a specific use and that specific use is restricted to that particular channel like website is used to let's say showcasing the product and so in a multi channel it will only showcase the product it will not allow the the user to buy maybe that product this is an example so in multi channel this happens but in omni channel the user can easily switch between the channel and go on that channel where the other activity is happening like let's say shopping is happening like you can easily switch from social media to their website e-commerce website and buy their product so this is the basic difference between multi channel and omni channel now there are a few key elements of omni channel experience the first one is consistency let's say a brand has a website a mobile application a, a chat bot and email marketing a social media handle to promote so what what happens is a customer always sees all these channels 
as one uh, entity and they uh, expect a, a consistent experience across uh, all these channels they uh, they doesn't care like if you are switching from their website to their uh, uh, print media let's say so they uh, if you are changing let's say the color palette of the uh, both the different channels so it will create an incons inconsistent experience for the user and they will maybe uh, not able to rec not able to recognize uh, that they are on the same uh, brand or the same organization that they are interacting with so the experience should always be consistent throughout all the channels of a brand then the second uh, point is seamlessness so seamlessness uh, is where like the customer can easily transition from one channel to another channel so like if uh, if you are performing a task on uh, let's say you saw an advert uh, you got a mail uh, promoting uh, a product from a company now you can easily switch from that email to a website so this will uh, uh, be counted as a seamless transition so uh, omni channel always has a seamless transition between channels whatever channels they may be then the third one is optimized for con context so what happens is every channel has a specific use for so an application uh, will only be used like an app will only be used to sell products let's say for e-commerce purpose a website may be used for uh, showcasing a product or maybe buying also then a, a chatbot uh, is used for let's say uh, as a help desk to solve customers problem and queries so every uh, channel should be optimized for the uh, their their specific use case only and they should also have the accessibility to uh, switch from one channel to another channel so this is the third point then orchestration so what orchestration means is seeing the bigger picture like seeing the uh, uh, customer journey uh, th or through a eagle eye perspective to know that what the customer will do next so if the customer is uh, on one step then pre predicting what the other step of the customer would be easy for the customer so like it the customer would have to do close to zero effort to switch from one channel to another channel so this is uh, orchestration all about then uh, let us take few case studies uh, of the uh, some indian startups or brands that the who have implemented uh, omni channel experience design so uh, pepper fry is one of them so what like pepper fry was initially an e-commerce uh, first company like they only had a website initially and they were selling their products on their websites only but after that uh, their motto a little bit changes and they wanted to provide a very delightful experience uh, to their customers so they also thought of uh, creating a pepperfry studio like what will happen in pepperfry studio is like you saw a product on their website and you like that product now the website will suggest you to go to the nearest pepperfry studio and check out the furniture if you like it there like uh, dimension wise or style wise or uh, maybe you your material wise you can go to that pepper fry studio and you can check out that specific furniture like uh, are you liking it or not and if you are not not liking it maybe then there will be a, a person that will help you uh, find the best furniture for your uh, uh, of your relevance or for, for your uh, house maybe so then what happens is you can now maybe if you do not want to buy like a customer also experience a buyer's buyer's remorse so or maybe uh, when the customer are in the shop so what happens is sometimes they think maybe i am spending too much money uh, in buying this product or maybe i'll buy it sometime later so what happens is they won't force you to buy that product from their uh, shop from the pepper fry studio like this generally happens in all the stores like they will uh, the sales person will try to make their sale but and you can easily go to your home and maybe you you saw that furniture and you can easily go to their website and find that furniture and then you can order it so this is the experience this is the omni channel experience that pepper fry created so the, uh, like this experience is holistic in terms of uh, their the omni channel approach and the customer satisfaction also then the next uh, example we can take is this i have all, also experienced like the uh, reliance trends so uh, what happens is in reliance senses if you visited their store so now you have visited their store you uh, found the garment and maybe the color or the size of that uh, garment is not available that uh, you want so uh, they have kiosk installed in reliance stands uh, uh, at places and you can easily go to that kiosk and you can scan the barcode of that garment and you would easily be able to 
log in to their uh, to your igo account from there and you can add that to your cart and in cart you will easily be able to find the size or the color you are looking for and then you can order it maybe from there only or if you want to order you can go to your home and you can just open your app and order it so here you seamlessly switch switched from a brick and mortar uh, channel uh, to an uh, online e-commerce medium so this is the approach that omni channel provides so we are towards end of the presentation so i'll leave with this quote so customer do not pay for the product they pay for the experience so i i think uh, we can see this uh, nowadays like people do not uh, people are uh, okay with spending a little more money if the brand or the uh, company is providing them a good experience so we can see it with apple or we can we can see with uh, other brands also like people are ready to uh, pay for a, a good experience thank you thank you so much